Hello and welcome back to WTMJ's Get Understanding broadcast. I am Pastor Eddie LaRoque and with me is... I am Pastor Pierre Roman Eliassin. As you know, WTMJ Get Understanding is a biblical teaching in full context according to historical setting as we rightly divide the word of truth. Yes. And you can reach us at 888-434-9865. That's 888-434-WTMJ. And send us your correspondence at PO Box 642 in Holbrook, New York, 11741. Pastor Pierre, Amen. pray Let for us. Let us start with prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who abide in the believers forever. The Holy Spirit who is the seal, the guarantee of our salvation. Lord, thank you for the understanding of your word through the power of the Holy Spirit within us. As we're going to study your word, no one can understand your word. If it is not you, Lord, who give us understanding. This is why we're asking you, Lord, to open our minds so we can understand your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are continue our powerful, <laughs> powerful, and again, powerful teaching on the active and passive obedience of Jesus the Messiah, Jesus the Anointed One, Jesus the Christ. Yes. <laughs> so yes. So a recap on mm -hmm. our objectives. One, what was the act of obedience of Christ? We Two, covered that. We did. Done. We did. Yes. Second, mm -hmm. what was the passive obedience I, that's of Christ? That's the part we're going to study in that broadcast today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And third, mm -hmm. we may not get to it, but the third one is how we must act upon both. Yes. This is great. So just to recap really, really, really fast, Pastor Eddie. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Active. We mm -hmm. said it's doing or the cause of things. Yes. Passive. Mm -hmm. We said that's just accepting. Mm -hmm. That is responding. Mm -hmm. That is not resisting a person or the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obedience. Yes. What is obedience? It's compliance. Mm -hmm. You're complying with an order. You're complying with a request. You okay. are, a, you're, you're submitting to. Here we go. So, as we study already, the active obedience of Jesus Christ, we said it is the absolute perfect obedience of Jesus as a man to God's law. And we said he came, he fulfilled the law yes. on our behalf. Why? Because no one living on earth can truly fulfill perfectly all the requirements of the law. So those two words mm -hmm. we want you to remember. Yes. Perfectly and all. Yes. Can't do it perfectly. And that's the requirement. I love that. And we cannot do. I love that. All. Perfectly <laughs> and all. God's law, you must do it perfectly and add to that all and then we talked last time mm -hmm. about a debate yes in act chapter 15 what happened pastor Eddie? yes yeah it's a great mm -hmm. it's a great debate yes um so the jerusalem council mm -hmm. they're together and they're talking about the new believers yes New folks who are coming into the mm -hmm. faith. Especially to Gentiles. Okay. Yes. Gentiles. Mm -hmm. New folks coming mm -hmm. into the faith. Mm -hmm. And they're debating whether they should we go. follow the law mm -hmm. that they themselves could not and their forefathers couldn't either. So we had read for you mm -hmm. in Acts 15, verse, verse 10. 10. Mm -hmm. Pastor, this is a key verse. Yes. Because the old folk... Mm -hmm. You know, they were under the law. 
Yes. They accept Jesus. They have been saved. But they've been trained all their life to mm -hmm. do, do, do. And then suddenly now, Gentiles came to the faith. They just believe. Some of them say, that's, that's too easy. You know how that works. That's too easy. This is the same thing happening right now. Yes. <laughs> uh, listen, I know God grace is great, but uh, uh, do you think there is not a step one, step two, step three? Especially those who said, no, no, before I get there, I'll work to get there. You maybe didn't know what you were doing. And then God can take someone who just come to the feet and fill that person with his power. Because it's not up to you. It's up to what Christ has done. Has already done. And if you see the quote, I want you to go and read Acts chapter 15. You will love it. Acts chapter 15. And then in verse 10, Pastor Eddie, what happened? Now, therefore, mm -hmm. why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? Last time we used a word, honestly. Yes. When you are honest, there is things you say to yourself, mm -mm, mm -mm. If I cannot, mm -hmm. why should I ask others to do so? That hypocrisy, Pastor Eddie, yes. so many people are putting a yoke on others when they cannot themselves do it. And so this is what happened in Acts chapter 15. But thank God, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit through Peter said, Now therefore, why are you putting God to the test? And what was the test? As Pastor Eddie said, by placing a yoke. You know what a yoke is? Do you know what a yoke is? Huh? It's something you cannot bear. It's something who paralyzes you. The restraint is impossible. Asking the new believers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to do what they themselves were not able to do that what their forefathers were not able to do is placing an impossible yoke around their necks Thank and the holy spirit God. will not have it amen amen so this is why we are saying my brothers and sisters my friend god's law always require absolute perfection so to conclude what we are talking about the first part of our powerful teaching active and passive obedience of Jesus Christ Pastor Eddie Jesus Christ as a man mm -hmm. lived a life of sinless perfection mm -hmm. in full accordance to God's holy law Amen. he perfectly fulfilled all righteousness by his active Obedience. Do you see those two words? Perfect and all. The brain facility. Therefore, Amen. He earned I love that merit. Part. I love that part. What, that he part is earned, for me. That's right. That for part, me. Oh, yeah, little, little, yeah. For you. That part is awesome. I, I'm, I'm really excited. That part, my brothers and sisters, those who believe in Jesus Christ. That part, Pastor Eddie, going to read. Is for you and I, and for you as well, who still do not believe. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray you will accept the gift of God, the eternal salvation in Christ Jesus. Please pay attention and listen to that part. We we'll start with therefore. Ooh. Therefore, he earned. He earned, he already worked for it himself. Amen. He earned it. Earned what? The merit Hallelujah. before God Almighty. Be On behalf God. of anyone, anyone who believes, who believes anyone in what? him. Believe. 
believe. That's all you've got to do is to believe and accept what Jesus has oh, already hallelujah. earned on your behalf, on my behalf. What you cannot do. What the requirement of God was impossible for you and I. Yes. Jesus Christ came and fulfilled all perfectly for you and I. Now, when you believe in him, he created all that on you. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Ooh. And as we said, that was the active obedience of Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. I they said, this is great. It is great. It is great. Like, I, I don't even want to move on <laughs> from that because there's just so much Ooh. to Amen. say on that. The merit, the credit. Amen. All I have to do is believe, believe and, receive. and receive it. That's it. That is all that's required. And that's no requirement at all. <laughs> I, 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 I feel the anointing of God all over me, Pastor Eddie. Hallelujah. Christ, the Messiah, has done everything perfectly and then because I believe in him he created everything on me and now I become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus hallelujah you know <sighs> wow I tell imagine someone worked oh praise to God their whole life and saved a billion dollars and here you come and they transferred the credit of that billion dollars to your account you didn't do anything for it you did not earn it you did not deserve it and all you do is accept the credit. That's all you do. Accept it. Receive it. Now you can choose to say, no, I don't want the credit. I don't want the money that you've already earned for me. You can say that. That's what Jesus did for us. But even more importantly, it wasn't about money. Amen. It's about your eternal, 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 Pastor Pierre, life. That example, Pastor Eddie, connect what we read in scripture said, we are more than a conqueror. Jesus is the conqueror. Jesus is the one who fought, who has been beaten, and then we receive all the benefit. All the benefits. We receive all the benefits. You know why? Because we are now more than a conqueror. That's why we're talking about what? the active obedience of Christ is. Let the one you're going to see that. Is our passive obedience. Oh, I already give you a little clips of the third part of our objective. Is active obedience is our passive obedience. <laughs> Stay tuned because we need to stop the passive obedience. Remember, the active obedience of Christ is our passive obedience. I'll just give you a little taste. So let's talk now about what the passive obedience of Jesus Christ. All right. So passive obedience of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ refers to Jesus' death on the cross as the atoning sacrifice for the sins of the whole world, the entire world. Hold on, what did you say? The whole world? The whole world. No. The whole world is up? The whole world. Can you prove that? Oh, yes. 
So we're going to go, of course, to scripture. Because we are WTMJ, World Teaching Ministry of Jesus. A teaching ministry must prove what they say will look like controversy only through God word the source the source <laughs> amen okay so this is what first john mm -hmm. chapter 2 verse 2 says he jesus christ amen is the atoning sacrifice for our sins mm -hmm. yes. and not only for ours but also for the sins of the whole world here we go he died for the sins of the whole world. Yes. That's the example you said, Pastor Eddie. You may not receive it, mm -hmm. but it's there for you. Yes. Because he died for the sin of the whole world. Yes. The punishment of your sin, all your sin, they were upon his shoulder. Yes. He accept to be crushed and receive everything. And he did not do anything, just receive it. That's why they call the passive obedience of Christ. Because again, what the word passive mean again by saying it? He said earlier mm -hmm. in our other broadcast, the teaching, mm -hmm. that it means accepting. Accepting? It means allowing what happens mm -hmm. or what others do they slap him they he spit it. on it it took everything he took it mm -hmm. he didn't mm -hmm. resist it he was passive in accepting to be the wow sacrifice for the world this is why they use the title of the Lamb of God. Jesus was the servant patiently on those suffering for you and I. Pastor Eddie, we know everything about Jesus Christ is a fulfillment of what was written That's right. concerning him. Yes. That's why he said, I came to be witness to the truth. Yes. Because the law and the prophet testify of me. Mm -hmm. So this is what I always said to people. If you really truly need to understand the New Testament, you need to understand the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament is the shadow of the New Testament. Yes. The reality is in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. But when you understand the Old Testament, your eyes open, open wider, wider yes. when you are reading the New. Yes. Because you saw, oh, that's what this was saying. Yes. Years, thousands of years, centuries ago. Before he actually came. Some are saying it. <laughs> Can you give us a little clip of what we are talking about now? So mm -hmm. let's go into Isaiah. Mm hmm Isaiah 53, verse 7. It was what? Prophecy. It was like a foretelling. Mm -hmm. Or one word? Prophecy. Prophecy. Okay. It was the word in the Old Testament. Yes. So what Isaiah 53, 7 said? Let me read for you. Mm -hmm. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Mm -hmm. Yet he did not open his mouth. Mm -hmm. Like a lamb that is led to slaughter and like a sheep that is silent before its shearers so he did not open his mouth that is 500 years before jesus christ that's what they call the foretelling of prophecy can you give us pastor the verse who fulfill what Isaiah said 500 years before so again he was oppressed and he was afflicted mm -hmm. Yet he did not open his mouth. Yes. Like a lamb that is led to slaughter, mm -hmm. and like a sheep that is silent before its shearers, so he did not open his mouth. Now, the fulfillment. Matthew, mm -hmm. yes, Matthew 27, verses 12 through 14, states Amen. the following. Mm -hmm. And while he was being accused by the chief priests mm -hmm. and elders, 
He made no answer. Wow. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? Mm -hmm. And he did not answer him with regard to even a single charge, so that the governor was quite amazed. The foretelling, the prophecy in Isaiah 53, 7 has been fulfilled in Matthew chapter 27, verse 12 and 14. That's why they call the passive obedience of Christ. He accepts to receive everything. Allow everything. Did not resist. Did not do anything. That's what you call the passive obedience of Christ. Pastor Eddie, we have another one. We're just going to read that and then we're going to close. The time is already there. Can we compare Isaiah 53 and Matthew 27? So in mm -hmm. Matthew 53. No, Isaiah 53. In Isaiah mm -hmm. 53, mm -hmm. 7 and 8, he was yes. oppressed and he was afflicted. Yes. Yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to slaughter. Yes. Matthew 27, verse 12. Mm-hmm. And while he was being accused by the chief priests yes. and elders, he did not answer. He accepted everything. Let us close with that verse. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross that is the passive obedience of christ we have so much to say but the time is already fighting with us so next week we will continue our powerful teaching passive active and passive obedience of jesus the messiah god bless you all See you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you.